Like, what are you trying to prove here? You look like the type of nigga that take your bitch, then you take your bitch bitch. What is the purpose of having a whole bench wrapped around your waist, sir? It's not that serious. Nigga, arms oh, probably sore than the motherfucker. It's probably a bunch of hoes there you trying to impress. That's what the fuck I'd do if I was in that top notch shape out. There's some bitches there. There's some, there's some bitches there. Sweatpants, titties dripping. Oh, Lord. I'd do all the pull-ups a nigga can do. Leave that shit. I know the niggas that work there was sitting there like, I know this nigga ain't gonna strap this motherfucker to his waist like that. Is he serious? That's some real shit. If it was me, because I'm a hating ass nigga, I'd walk past really slow. And like, as soon as he got to the top, I'd rip that motherfucker down. It, he probably would have been hurt, but I wouldn't give a fuck because it would have been funny as hell. Yes, I'm a sick nigga. That's what the fuck I do. I don't really do shit like that. I'm just saying that's what the fuck I would have did if I was in that particular situation. I don't approve of this nigga shorts, but if you're going to do shit like that, you got to be, I guess, comfortable and free-fitting just in case your dick come the fuck out. I, I know it's a dress code there. I know you can't be butt-ass nigga, but if you knew a nigga can do some shit like this, would you allow him around your girlfriend, your wife, or your daughter? And that's the type of nigga that's very dangerous. And don't ever leave them niggas around your motherfucking wife. Or your next door neighbor. Because, you know, that bitch probably have her back blown the fuck out by multiple niggas. And that particular nigga will probably finish the job.